most men want to be with a biological woman. Most straight guys want to be with a biological woman. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello my lovelies, I'm Rebecca Markel and today I want to cover something a little different. It's more about what sort of comments and messages I get from people sometimes. Not too long back I received voice messages from this guy who disagreed with me with my philosophy based on being kind to everybody. So I listened to his opinion and I respected that because I like to hear all sides of the story and kind of like develop a bigger knowledge and understanding of different people and trying to get a better understanding I suppose. More to better myself as well and just to help you know spread information if I feel I have changed any opinions. However, the conversation kind of drifted away and kind of went in a different direction. It started off with kind of respectfully, kind of going back and forth, and he didn't seem he wanted to budge. But it kind of led to different sort of uh, intentions, and this is why I'm now sharing it. So before I start giving my like input, uh, extra input, should I say, uh, I'm going to basically show all the voice messages that I received. Uh, along with the messages that I sent. It is a bit of a wait to get through, I apologise, but hey, I subtitled the whole thing for you, so you better watch it. <laughs> it was so cringy just listening to it all over and over and over again. <laughs> so here we go. Rebecca, I have to disagree with you. Uh, you cannot always be kind to everybody. Some people see that as weakness. You see, I don't do the whole, I have to be kind to everybody. They have to earn it. I'm not a nice guy, you know? My thing is, I respect you and you respect me. And I'm not kind when you're not kind to me, you know? I pride myself in being assertive, being aggressive, you know, but being fair at the same time. I don't believe in being a quote unquote nice guy. That gets you nowhere in life. Okay. What I've deduced from that is that you be kind, I'll be kind. Now, that to me is more respect. Uh, if you be kind, then you're also, and they're also kind, then I think that becomes like a sense of respect. I don't know, I don't think, I, I partially agree and I partially disagree. Welcome back. I was just currently writing back and potentially going to try to see if I can record it instead. So, so far I have said, I think kindness could be misinterpreted as respect. I can be kind to everyone, but if someone is an asshole then I don't respect them. I think helping the homeless or being charitable to people, going out of your, going out of your own way, own way to help people when they're down can go a long way. People stab you in the back or try to bring you down, then you tell it how it is and lose and you lose respect for people. I say be kind because I think it takes a, a strength to stay kind. You have to be nice to have people and kind. Other people who don't have it so easy more or down. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much where it goes. I know, but I do get that when people are... When people see it as weakness, I get it. Even around strangers, it's just nice to be kind. I think kind of could be misinterpreted as respect. I can be kind to everyone, but if someone is an asshole, then I don't respect them. I think helping the homeless or being charitable to people going out of your own way to help people when they're down can go a long way. If people stab you in the back or try to bring you down, then you turn out how it is and you lose respect for people. I say be kind because I think it takes a strength to stay kind, especially in people you may dislike. If someone who has been a douche is on the road being hit by a car, you help them with an ambulance and get them to safety or something, that takes a lot to put pride aside for someone you don't like. You don't respect them, but you're still a kind guy. 
I do partially agree with you that people can see it as a weakness. Those are the people who I have less respect for. I totally respect that you have reached out to me to respectfully disagree with me and share your reasons. I'm always keen to hear people's opinions and ideas. We'll see how it goes though. Ferramante Bellissima. I'm guessing very beautiful. Uh oh. I think dominance is strength. Kindness, there's no strength to kindness. If you're weak and you're afraid, you're going to disguise that with kindness. Because a lot of people are sheep. They're afraid of their own shadow. They follow the goddamn herd. It takes more strength to stand up to somebody than to be a little bitch and walk away. That's easy. Anybody can do that. You know, when in confrontation, when you got to attack somebody that's stronger than you physically, that's when your strength comes into play. I have nothing against you personally. I just disagree with your philosophy on life. I don't, I don't, I'm not kind to people who are not nice to me. I want to destroy them physically and more, you know? <laughs> um, there are people that uh, have stabbed me in the back. If I were to see them down the street, I would choke the living shit out of them, you know? Regardless if they're a man or a woman. Okay. So, this to me is somebody who has had probably the similar philosophy to me, but something's happened to this person very traumatically at one point in their life that made them go, I've had enough. I don't mind helping somebody, but I'm always going to put myself first. Okay, uh, I don't go with, uh, you know, play with the team. I'm looking out for me. It's about self-interest. I'm a realist and I'm going to be real. I am selfish. I am self-centered. And if people think I'm a dick, well, I'm a dick. You know, I'm not here to be a nice guy or, you know, have people love me. As long as I love myself, that, that's all that matters. I only have one life and one day I'm going to die. So live it up. Very sad. Yeah, no, I would say so. Oh, God. You see, I'm a loner. I like being by myself. I enjoy my own company. I'm aggressive, and I like to dominate. I don't follow the herd. I'm not a sheep, you know? Um, I'm not here to inspire people. I don't give a fuck about people. You know, if I have to use people, I'll use people. I'm just, you know, realist, you know? I grew up in New York, man. That's like a rough town, and it's cold out here, too, so... Life. Yeah, so I'm saying, hmm, I think the other type can still be kind. What I hear from you is that you may have had a similar philosophy to myself at one point, but something dramatic has happened in your life to really reverse that on that mindset. So we're so, I'm so sorry that you have had that. <laughs> you did finish off with, though, I do think you're pretty. <laughs> Yeah, but he's trying to justify his personality by keeps drawing from generic reasons. He's probably so caught up with presenting himself as this tough guy that he's lost touch with himself. Maybe, yeah. I'm so sorry that you've had had to... Like, that's going to help with what everything he's just said to you. So I just said, mm, I think the other type can still be kind. What I hear from you is that you may have had a similar philosophy to myself at one point. Something traumatic has happened in your life to really reverse on that mindset. So I'm so sorry you have had to endure tough hardships in your life. And I can only wish for the best for you. If I am wrong, then I apologise and thank you. <laughs> I mean, he's not said anything personally against me. He just... I think he's... I'm, I'm, under, I'm under the impression he's disagreed with me. With the intent of hoping that I can change his mind, maybe? Uh oh. Yeah, my last job, I trust me. <laughs> uh, it did, I wouldn't say traumatize me, it just woke me up to see how people, how fake people can be to your face, you know, how selfish people are and use you, and you have good intentions with them and they screw you. And, you know, it just, it pissed me off. It pissed me off to no end where I'm no longer that guy that I used to be. I used to be a nice guy, but not anymore. The pace sucks. <laughs> G 
She's the person that made me angry too. She used me. She was a co-worker. He'll only keep the conversation centered around him since he can't see beyond his own beliefs. Don't know what his intent is really. It's funny though that what I've just said seems to be kind of like making a go. Yeah. I try to help this person out, but uh, she's a drug addict. She's into girls. You know, I slowly found this out getting to know her. I actually wanted to marry her at one point, but you know, she hustled money from me. She got me fired and then she tried to get me arrested. You know, good times, huh? Um, uh oh. I mean, I don't like to label myself an alpha. You know, if anything, I'm probably more Sigma than Alpha because I tend to be a loner and Alpha's run with a pack. You know, I'm my own man. and um, But I am aggressive, though, you know, and um, I don't mind getting into a confrontation with somebody, even if they're bigger than me. I, I could care. I'm relentless. I could care less, you know. <laughs> so, I'm really sorry. No one should go through shit like that. I understand why you would feel that way. I don't think he's trying to impress me, maybe, but yeah. By the way, today's my birthday. I turned 50. Okay? My name is... Am And um, you got her a pretty face, nice smile, you know. I definitely uh, <laughs> want to dominate you, bite you, have my way with you. <laughs> wow, that turned. <laughs> Oh God. Anyway, I'm gonna get ready to head out. Um, gotta buy dinner outside, so I'll definitely I'll send you a picture of me when I'm uh, taking a shower and dressed up. You know, make myself pretty for you. <laughs> I'm really sorry. No one should. <clears throat> go through shit like that, understand why you would feel that way and honestly I think the part of your journey in life is to learn and adapt. You've tried one way and it didn't work but you may also find the Sigma route may be just as tough on you mentally or even physically. I think it's finding that balance but it's really tough but it's really tough sometimes. I think you're still that nice chap deep down. Also happy birthday. I don't want you I don't want to I don't want you to think I'm needing you on either hand. I just want to respectfully understand why you feel that way. I do thank you for your kind words to me, but yeah, I'm not interested in <laughs> hey, I wish you a lovely day though. I'm just gonna name it like that. And if he gets aggressive, then I'm just gonna be like, look. It's been interesting having a respectful debate, but it's gone a bit tits up. <laughs> And I don't really want this kind of stuff. Thank you and good night. Holy shit. If he gets aggressive with me, then I will basically tell him it straight because I can be kind. I can be kind. But I can also assert my dominance. I'm not a sheep, as he likes to put. I am kind. And if someone's disrespecting me, then... That's it. I'm not particularly interested in dating now because I also... Uh-oh. Don't worry. I don't have a problem getting a woman, so... Don't, you know, it's... 
Uh, uh, trust me, you probably live far away from me, and I don't, I'm not into long distance relationship. And I'm not an ugly guy. I'm charismatic. I'm not a nice guy deep down. Deep down inside, I'm an asshole, and I like being an asshole. All right. You have a good one. By the way. I talk to women all the time when I'm out on the street, so I'm not hungry for pussy, not starving. I have an abundance mindset, not a scarcity mindset. So, and most people here on Instagram just want to use people for money or whatever, gift cards. And it's just like nobody here finds a relationship. So I'm not like, oh, please be with me. No, no, you got it all wrong. I just... The same thing I say to you, I say to somebody else, so, you know, I'm being honest, you know, I'm not putting you down or anything, you know, just the way I am. Besides, you need a nice guy who's fluffy and, you know, a beta male, a simp, that's what you need. I'm not, I'm not that guy, sweetie. I'm dominant, I'm controlling, I'm possessive. Can be, you know, at times very confrontational. <laughs> so you're definitely uh, a guy like me quote unquote is toxic for you not a good guy for you alright besides um, I scare women when I'm aggressive and <laughs> I'm confrontational I scare the shit out of women especially the big uh, the lippy ones you know who think they're, they're tough and strong and independent all that bullshit they say <laughs> I make them cry <laughs> it's so funny. I was going to say that he scares me a bit, but I didn't say it. He scares me in the sense if this was a person who I saw regularly. He would scare me, and I feel sorry for him. Uh oh. By the way, g girls, quote unquote, like you, are just a fetish. Guys don't want to be seen with girls like you out on the street. They fuck you, but that's about it. Most men want to be with a biological woman. Most straight guys want to be with a biological woman. You're just a fetish. Hun. They, you, the user is not found, so I think they just blocked me. I'm kind of sad that I didn't actually record that because it's been deleted. I, I don't think he's been deleted. Rebecca, I have to disagree with you. You. Uh, if I, because if I go out of it, his messages might completely disappear. And then I probably won't be able to hear them again. So I'm like, do I record it? As a put Good thinking, good thinking. <sighs> that is sad though. That someone has gotten to that point. So at the time of recording this I'm kind of going to go off by memory but I'm hoping I pretty much got it all memorized because it was just it's just so much but here we go. I think this man is a beta male and let me give my reasons why. Someone who is alpha is not someone who's aggressive, assertive, dominant. Someone who is an alpha is confident it's all about confidence to me. If someone gets overprotective over me and starts wanting to start fights because like some guy is talking to me and like I'm their girl, that is a sign of insecurity and lack of confidence and to me that is a beta. It's a bit like Dragon Ball, like Goku as some would call him a bit of an idiot at times, I would say is an alpha. Vegeta on the other hand kind of like starts off more like, I think potentially starts off a tiny bit alpha because he's confident, but when he starts losing 
to Goku and all that stuff, and then starting to want to get stronger and all of that, he starts becoming beta and insecure and unconfident and even though he's really strong and really alpha macho, as they would say, that's not alpha. That is someone who is weak. Weak-minded. But when he finally accepts his, like, his role in the world, his responsibility, his his family and his loved ones and his confidence and will to sacrifice himself for things, that's more alpha. He still, and you watch, like, his development as well, like, because he becomes a family man, but he never shows it, but he still cares about his family. And that, to me, is a stronger-minded person. I can't believe I just used Dragon Ball for talking about Alpha and Beta. Secondly, there was this also moment that where I basically want to be kind to other people. And I am kind to people. I also wasn't going to share this conversation that I had, but the moment he said that very last message, that was when he was showing unkindness. He was saying, I'm kind to people if they're kind to me. I respectfully, very respectfully declined what he was trying, him hitting on me basically. And that made him go completely like the other way, the beta direction, if you will. He didn't like the answer, so he reacted in such a way that was very disrespectful. And so that's what happened. But because he said that, I'm now doing my part and I'm going to be sharing like what people say to me and how people are sometimes. This, this whole trans women is a fetish is a very disgusting way to think of us. We are not an object. We are not fetishes. We are human beings and that's it. He tried to hurt me and it didn't work. And now I am sharing what some people are like, but I would still be kind to this person, even if I didn't like it. If I saw this person and like totally knocked over, or, or like if this person was like hit by a car or something, I would still want to help them. That's kindness. I might not have respect for that person, but my moral compass says I need to do something. And that's the difference between him and I. That philosophy of looking after people, look out for one another. If people aren't good to you, then you lose respect for them. But if you can remain strong-minded and strong-willed, that's much stronger. There's probably a lot more that we can dissect from this, but I, to be honest, I feel I am a bit done with this 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 topic, this guy. It it's not worth much more of my time, probably. Um, but if people still want me to dissect more of it, then fine. But yeah, I just I'm not that interested anymore. So anyway, I'm gonna end this episode off here. If you watch it to the end, then you're freaking awesome. Otherwise, I shall see you in the next episode. Take care of yourself.
Typing it out, writing that down, <laughs> hurt more, <sighs> because it felt like I was just like writing lines as if it was truth, <laughs> and there are men out there who do treat you like that. <sighs> I know it's not true, it's just typing it out made it harder. <sighs> I had a feeling it was going to be hard to actually type that out. It's done. I've done it. I finished it, okay. It was just really tricky when typing out when he said when I had to type that out that that hurt. And then that just made me feel insignificant. They, that hit hard and then just to go and just top it off. I will put myself through this shit if it can help anyone else deal with this shit better. Like if it, if if I put myself through the shit, hopefully it will protect more girls like me, quote unquote, from assholes like this, and to keep an eye out. <laughs> <laughs>